Hey guys, Tim here from MalaysianBabeAddict.blogspot.com with a new atomizer to review for you guys. And today I'm going to review uh, the G Bell atomizer by Yankee69, I think. It's his name. Uh, Yankee, yeah, Yankee69. Uh, Serbian, Serbian mother. His website is www.myes.com. Uh, Dot com link here I bought it from an auction auction page uh, got this for which around 80 80 dollars I think yeah got it around 80 dollars so yeah I have it here with my uh, nemesis clone mm, okay so this is a Genesis Atomizer 510 connection Pyrex glass they have the G Bell mini and this is the the full size G Bell, 20, 20 millimeter in diameter, so it doesn't really sit like super nicely. But in my opinion, it looks pretty alright uh, on the, the Nemesis because of the shine part here and the, it, it's shine. Uh, stainless steel top cap. The top cap is super reduced, okay? This is probably, um, probably the first atomizer out there that actually. Uh, use the reduced chamber concept I'm not sure not an expert in it but I'm loving it look at how small that chamber is okay that's super small chamber compared to like an RSST that's a small chamber okay very very small chamber so it uses standard stuff stainless steel mesh I use a stainless steel mesh here let's see Show you guys how it look like. Okay, use a stainless steel mesh, three wraps of a 28 gauge cantal, getting around 0 0.89 ohms. Okay, uh, the pulse. Okay, this is the pulse. Your negative pulse, center pulse, and your fill hole, which is all very easy to use. Um, very easy to screw super easy to screw on it's all a uh, cr uh, flathead screws so absolutely easy absolutely easy to set up this like I first set up uh, and I, I did it uh, pulse method you guys can see so many uh, tutorials out there I, I don't have the good camera to do like tutorials like Peeber Sardos or like Pods so leave the, I'll leave it all up to them to show you guys how to do the tutorial Firing like a champ. I have here um, Master V, very blessed, blessed in there. Um, very clear, illiquid. It's a Pyrex tank, so you can put like um, those cracking glass juice illiquid, and it will work fine. It's a screw on top cap, so if you can get it in there, it's not cheap though. It's eighty dollars. It's pretty expensive for an atomizer. It's probably the, the most expensive atomizer I own now in my arsenal but well you know once in a while it's better to go premium when it screws it once you tighten it down it will be at your air hole if you guys can see that all right it will be in your air hole 510 connection the 510 connection is actually a uh, brass if I'm not mistaken is it a brass pole pretty sure it is like this part is brass and then the connection is uh, adjustable uh, that's stainless steel I think it's not brass but the, the outer layer is brass which is nice I like brass okay I really like brass uh, the, the tank holds like I think 3 mil of illiquid uh, this was almost a full yeah around 3 mil of illiquid so to tilt it and see how it vapes like In fact, I have a dry, I have a hot spot in there. Yep, hot spots. Uh, why? Why now? The hole is super small. Okay, the the wick hole. So my stainless steel cable do not does not even fit in there, which is kind of sad. 
so I need to I had to do a mesh bill no pro in doing all these things looks good now smells good very nice and liquid um it's hold up but by this uh, two o-rings in there and sometimes it's not really uh, it doesn't really hold up super well but well it's all right Makes like a champ uh, vapor production is a lot it comes with a, I think one millimeter air hole but I drilled it out to 1.3 millimeters not I drilled it out when I bought it it's already drilled out okay so whatever same, same stuff one word okay the vape that's not one word but <coughs> one word it's intense okay the weight is very very intense because of the, the reduced chamber it's so small like when vapor just comes out it's, it just it has no space to go it doesn't have space to like play around whatever it just go straight up to your mouth so when you take it you can actually feel like the, the vapor like just coming out from the hole okay my drip tip is pretty thick so and my drip tip is like has speed back pr protection so you can't really see a vapor coming out but uh, there is uh you can feel it okay, in your your tongue like it's just there mm -hmm. overall probably one of the best vapes i can you can ever get definitely To buy it brand new, it cost you. It will cost you around 100, 100 over dollars. Uh, I bought this second hand, so it's eighty dollars. Hundred over dollars, I think it's pretty. It's a good deal because it vapes really well. You can see the other reviews. Uh, Todd he did a review on this, and it's really highly rated because it's very, very good. Uh, Genesis Star Atomizer. Throat hit is intense. Uh, if you don't want such an intense intense throat hit, do drill it out. For me, it's gonna be hard to vape higher than six milligrams on this because this is gonna be a very very intense vape. So I'm not gonna keep this. Uh, maybe put it, uh, reserve this for like my favorite e-liquids because it tastes really nice. The <coughs> the only downside I think it's uh super small wick hole i wish the wick hole was bigger but then again we can drill it um the glass it's good glass but it's just glass but of course you can buy stainless steel sleeves and also uh, pmma uh, plastic sleeves uh it doesn't really hold the illiquid super well but it doesn't leak it just like has some a bit like condensation in there like outside like just a bit but you know small things as long as it's a good vape, nobody cares. And it's a fantastic, absolutely fantastic atomizer. Very nice. Doing a direct lung inhale on this is going to be hard, but I'm going to try. Crazy vapor product. <coughs> oh, I'm actually sick. So, forgive me. Mm. Overall, two thumbs up to Yankee sixty nine Serbian model. The G Bell. It's been in the market probably since like last year, uh, probably a long time ago. But I just got it. Uh, heard so much good things about it, so I just. Uh, chose this one even though it doesn't really look like the the most appealing atomizers out there i think it looks pretty nice uh, but some of you might not think it, it looks nice at all it's all personal preferences unless i can show you guys how it looks closer okay so what do you think i think it's it's pretty nice okay it's pretty nice on the nemesis it looks pretty nice so yeah, that's about it for the review. Uh, 
G-Bell Genesis Star Optimizer version 2 Last vape and I'll go 10 out of 10 Nah, 9 out of 10 Such a fantastic vape Fantastic yeah, thanks for watching. Go to my blog, MalaysianVapeNN.blogspot.com for more reviews and also uh, like our Facebook page, facebook.com slash MalaysianVapeNN. Peace out.